Was South Park right? Are crab people possible? More importantly, could humans evolve into crabs? You might have heard that evolution has a favorite form, the humble crab. So is it possible that we eventually get crusty shells and pincers and walk sideways? No, that's just an internet myth. Only the arthropods, creatures with modular jointed bodies could pull off the crab transformation. But there is a wild truth around crab transformation. See, over the last 250 million years, evolution has independently turned animals into crab-shaped creatures at least five different times. Scientists call this carcinization, and it's so frequent that real crabs are just the beginning of the story. Wait, real crabs? Does that mean there are fake ones? <laughs> yes, but first let's start off with what a true crab is. Think blue crab, mud crab, the Dungeness crab, these are members of the Brachyura family. These crabs first showed up in the mid-Triassic about 250 million years ago, right alongside the early dinosaurs. Their earliest unmistakable fossils popped up in the Jurassic period, and then during the Cretaceous crab revolution, <laughs> crabs exploded into thousands of new shapes, invading reefs, caves, rivers, and beaches. But that crab you might have spotted in a rock pool on the beach may have been fake. Imposter crabs, like king crabs, porcelain crabs, and squat lobsters. These aren't true crabs at all. King crabs, for example, are closer to hermit crabs, genetically speaking. Porcelain crabs and squat lobsters evolved crab-like forms for a survival upgrade. They lost their long lobster tails, bulking up with armor and claws, and evolving the ability to move sideways. It seems nature keeps copying the crab blueprint, even across distant family trees, because it works. So yeah, evolution likes crabs, but don't worry, humans won't turn into crab people, I promise. 